Hola, me llamo Harun Shahid, soy un gastroenterólogo en la Escuela de Medicina de Rutgers Robert Johnson. Gracias por invitarme a esta conferencia. Um, thank you very much for having me. I apologize, my Spanish is not that great, so I'm going to continue the rest of the presentation in English. Um, today I'm going to present the case of a patient with suspected hilar cholangiocarcinoma and the use of cholangioscopy. This is a 71-year-old female with a past medical history of hypertension, coronary artery disease, mechanical mitral valve replacement, atrial fibrillation on anticoagulation, who presents as a transfer from a nearby community hospital for obstructive jaundice. She has painless jaundice, which has progressed over the last two weeks. She admits to nausea, poor appetite, and weight loss. She does not have any fevers. She does also complain of pruritus, dark urine, and light-colored stools. This is some of her pertinent lab work from her admission. Her white blood cell count was elevated at 13, hemoglobin 9.3. Her uh, total bilirubin is 28.8 with a direct bilirubin of 21.1. She was obviously visibly jaundiced on exam. She did have an MRI MRCP done at the other hospital, which showed diffuse intrahepatic biliary dilatation, which terminates abruptly at the hepatic hilum with an introductal mass measuring 2.6 by 1.1 by 2.1 centimeters. The decision was made to proceed with an ERCP with cholangioscopy. Uh, this is the video from that procedure. Uh, this is cholangioscopy. Initially, you're seeing the distal bile duct. You can see normal appearing biliary epithelium on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, in the middle of the lumen of the bile duct, it looks like there's a blood clot or some uh, abnormal tissue. Uh, when we are able to uh, infuse the bile duct with normal saline to get better visualization, uh, we can see that it does appear to be uh, a blood clot. Uh, when we are able to remove that blood clot, we do see the distal stricture. We are able to advance the cholangioscope uh, to the hepatic hilum and we see this introductal mass, uh, which is very uh, villus appearing and frond-like. Um, uh, we are then able to advance a small biopsy forcep through the cholangioscope, uh, which is able to be open and take uh, directed biopsies. Uh, this allows us to get uh, better tissue than we normally would if we were to just brush the duct. And here we are taking more biopsies from that mass. On fluoroscopy, you can see we can angle our cholangioscope uh, to the area we want to evaluate. In this case, we were evaluating the right hepatic duct, uh, which does appear to be involved with the mass. A wire is easily advanced into the right hepatic duct uh, in this case. Uh, the left hepatic duct was not easily accessible, so the cholangioscope is advanced to the hilum. Uh, and then the bifurcation is seen, and on the right-hand uh, portion of the cholangioscope images, you can see the takeoff of the left hepatic duct. Uh, a wire can then be advanced into the left hepatic duct, as you can see on the fluoroscopy images on the right. Uh, next, um, we're able to inject contrast uh, to confirm we're in the right pos position. We advance a cytology brush next to brush the hepatic hilum uh, in order to obtain more tissue. Uh, after that is done, we're able to place a uh, plastic double pigtail stent into the left hepatic duct since this was the more difficult uh, segment of the bile duct to attain access. This stent is uh, then deployed. Uh, into the lumen. The other stent that you see in the image is actually a pan pancreatic duct stent that was placed uh, prior to accessing the bile duct. Now we uh, were able to advance a wire into the right hepatic duct. On the fluoroscopy images, we're measuring uh, how long of a stent we're going to need. Um, then we're able to advance another plastic stent uh, into the right hepatic duct um, to drain the right side as well. In this situation, because we don't have a diagnosis, uh, we tend to place plastic stents rather than placing bilateral metal stents, especially if the patient may be a surgical candidate. And here, the right hepatic duct stent is deployed, uh, the wire is removed, uh, and the procedure is terminated.
The biopsies and brushings were positive for adenocarcinoma consistent with hyalurid cholangiocarcinoma, as was suspected. The patient was deemed not to be a surgical candidate based on involvement of the hepatic arteries. Uh, she will proceed to chemotherapy with medical oncology, and we will offer the patient intraductal biliary photodynamic therapy via ERCP as an adjunctive therapy. Thank you for your time. Muchísimas gracias.